Thank you so much, Amanda. In Business Matters, with the new year, we're taking a look back at some of the 2018 milestones for small businesses in Vermont and also what 2019 will bring for us this year. We're joined by David Bradbury. You know this guy. He's the president of VSET. And we welcome Eric Mayhew. He's the co-founder of Fluency. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, morning, Megan. I'm going to switch up the questions here because I actually want to know more about fluency first. Oh, wow. Wow. Put, yeah. us, put me on my toes here. Good. We're what keeping, do you want to know? We're keeping it, you know, snappy here. Excellent. What is fluency? So fluency is a, a startup that we, that four of us put together about a year ago. Mm -hmm. So there were four of us that were friends that had worked together in the past or e even some of us have been to, together and friends for 25 plus years. So we went to college together. Um, we had an idea and a vision for a new ad tech platform that could help businesses scale and grow the digital space. We have experience from, from uh, dealer.com in, mm -hmm. in the local area, watching their explosive growth, helping with that explosive growth. We thought we could do that for other, other organizations as well. So awesome. we put together a platform that would help businesses grow and scale uh, operationally efficient. That's great. It's cool. And how do these businesses use these tools that you've given to them and so, provided to them? Fluency is a software platform. Mm -hmm. It took a lot of work to get it to where it is today, sure. but it's pr it's pretty cool. And you can actually operate your entire business. It's it's effectively advertising an advertising business in a box. Okay. But what's cool about it is, in comparison to other platforms that are out there, um, you can really define your own business rules. So the way you want to execute digital advertising, uh, you can express that within the tool, and then it operates for you. So it it reduces the manpower required to do digital advertising quite a bit. Uh, one of the things that I think was really, really cool is over the holiday weekend, a lot of, there's a lot of changes that happen in digital advertising, and there, right. were, there were requirements for uh, employees to come in and do work. We were able to automate all of that work and give people back their holiday, and, cool. and that was the thing that makes me pretty smile a lot. And did you just launch this past year? Or when did we you did. Yeah. So it, we're about a year, maybe a year and a month into it, but as you can imagine with a tech company and an right. enterprise software tool, it takes a while to build. So we have about six months with customers on it. Um, we are growing a lot right now, mm -hmm. and it's very, very exciting to see different use cases, customers using the tools, and finding new opportunities that we can unlock for them. Um, so it, it's, been, it's been a great year. Awesome, congratulations. We've got, we've got a ways to go still, but it's, it's a great year. Hey, nowhere to go but up, though. Absolutely. And that brings me to my next question. It's a beautiful segue into the entrepreneurial growth of 2018, David. Yeah. Um, I think 2018 was uh, was a real uh, seminal year here for for startups and scale-ups uh, around Vermont. Certainly at VSET, what we see is the sort of largest center of, of of these companies. Companies like Fluency started with zero folks. They've got maybe 10 or 11 right now, 10, yeah. right? Customers and and I think uh, the real change this year has been a real focus on early revenues, getting customers really at the outset versus borrowing or taking outside equity to sort of fund losses and development, really mm -hmm. start with a customer, a specific problem, and then build a solution they're willing to pay for from the outset. And I think that will define how things go, go forward for, for a lot more businesses than in the past. Yeah, and speaking of going forward, what do you see in 2019? I mean, what's the horizon looking like for startups and entrepreneurs this coming year? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I'm very encouraged by sort of, one, the, the resources that are available. There's more infrastructure around Vermont. You've got uh, Springfield, uh, BRIC, the, the Innovation Campus, the Due North Center in Lindenville that open, VSAT, Study Hall. So there, there are places for folks to gather with investors, to, to collaborate, um, to uh, bring in new hires. So. I think that will Bowie things. Um, you know, unless the stock market uh, collapses here fully, um, we'll still see uh, a continuation in angel money. Uh, we've had more venture dollars invested in Vermont this past year than I can I can recall. So That's great. directionally positive. I mean, I think you know Montpelier is always a wild card. Let's mm -hmm. let's hope uh, it's a real uh, opportunity for positive mm -hmm. um, support and growth of this sector. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You guys, thank you both so much. Absolutely. Congratulations thank you. once again. Yeah, well, thank hey, you. thank you. David, always good to see you. We'll be right back.